So you've installed FreeDOS, but what else can you do with it? So, of course, FreeDOS being DOS, you, it will run any DOS application. But we've packaged for you in the FreeDOS 1.2 distribution a number of open source software DOS programs. And today I'm going to show you how to access some of those programs using a handy tool. So let's get started. So in FreeDOS 1.2, we have a program called FD Impulse, and so I'm going to go ahead and type that here, FD Impulse. Now this is not part of the uh, FreeDOS uh, sort of base, if you do the sort of standard uh, plain install, this is part of the FreeDOS 1.2 full install. Uh, and uh, FD Impulse uh, stands for, and you see at the top of the screen there, the FreeDOS installer, my package list editor software because we wanted to spell FD Impulse. And uh, this allows you to uh, uh, install and remove various packages that are uh, included as part of the uh, FreeDOS CD-ROM. There's a number of, uh, you know, I did a FreeDOS uh, 1.2 full installation here, but there's a number of extras that we just didn't include uh, because we didn't want to fill up your disk. And so FD Impulse is how you get access to them. So you can see here on the left-hand side at the top of the screen, uh, I've got a, uh, a list of package groups. Uh, base is where all of the programs that uh, really replicate MS-DOS uh, live. Uh, but let me go down into editors. So we've got a number of editors uh, included in FreeDOS, and the plus here uh, means that we have at least one package from this group installed. And so if I use the right arrow to hop over to uh, the right-hand side, I can scroll down and look at all the different editors that we include as part of FreeDOS. And you can see that MS Edit is included. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and install uh, Pico. So Pico is uh, a simple text editor. It's in the style of the Pine Composer. In fact, that's where the name comes from, Pico, Pine Composer, the first two letters of those two words. So to select this program for install, I'm going to just uh, make sure I'm highlighting uh, Pico on that uh, list in the upper right-hand side. I'm going to press space, and that'll put an X there. And I'll just use the tab uh, to uh, to go down. And by the way, if I go down uh, uh, one tab, I can, you can see it highlights this bottom side. And I can use the arrows to see what's installed as part of that package. Uh, and so that's uh, all that's down there, and uh, there's more if I kept scrolling. But uh, let's go ahead and hit tab one more time, and we'll highlight the OK, and hit return. And you can see here that it's going to go ahead and install the Pico editor for me. Pico's a pretty small program, so there's not much to it. Uh, and there we go, it's installed Pico. And now uh, you can see uh, where it's installed, all everything, and that's uh, here it happens to install it as part of the uh, FDOS directory. So if I just type Pico, it'll pick, pick it up in my bin directory. And here is the Pico editor. Uh, pretty standard uh, editor, um, but that's not the point of this video, is not to look at Pico. So let's go back to uh, FD Impulse. So I'm going to go ahead and do Control X and that will exit the editor. And now let's go ahead and type FD Impulse one more time. And that will bring me back into the uh, package installer. Now, obviously, it's reading a lot of packages, and so that's why it's trying to, uh, uh, it takes a little while to, uh, to start up. And so here I am back at the uh, FD Impulse main screen. Let's go ahead and uninstall Pico now that I've done it. You can do this with any package. I'm just going to uninstall the package I just uh, installed here. I'm going to go down and find Pico on this list. And oops, there's Pico. I'm going to hit space and that'll uninstall that program. Uh, if I wanted to uh, uninstall other programs, this is the time to do it. And if I hit the left arrow, I can go back to this list. You can see all the other programs that we include as part of FreeDOS 1.2. Uh, a bunch of games, uh, networking tools, sounds, uh, utilities. Uh, now let's go ahead and uninstall one more program just to show that you can uninstall more than one program at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the right arrow and let's just uh, uninstall this first program I happen to have loaded, which is FordOS. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the space bar and that takes the X off of uh, FordOS. I'm going to hit tab until I highlight the OK. I'm going to hit return. And you can see here that it's going to remove Pico. And there we go, Pico's been removed, and that's going to go ahead and remove Fordos, and now Fordos has been removed. 
And that's the basics of FD Impulse. It's a great tool to uh, install the other software that we have included on the FreeDOS 1.2 distribution. Those are called the software extras. Uh, and that's all we have for this week. Now, what else would you like me to talk about on FreeDOS? Uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider, consider supporting me on Patreon.